Well, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back. It's uh, it's Monday, and we we're back. We're back. We have a lot of people on the farm right now. We're actually doing something that you guys you guys told us to do. You guys told us to plant some winter crop, and a lot of you guys wanted a uh, recommended wheat. We were I yeah, we're gonna go with wheat. So we're doing some winter wheat. I like wheat too, cause like when you say winter wheat, it just sounds good. We have Zeus in the field right now. He's tearing it up literally with the plow. And then we're going to be spreading down some line. Unfortunately, guys, I am. I have a little cold right now. So my voice is like a little under the weather, I guess. But we're, we're, we should be good. Then we have another guy coming down with the lime spreader. And we're going from there. So everything is going good. The house kind of needs some more. We might need to repaint this this summer. You know, holy cow. All right. It's a little more rough than I thought. There's like literally huge paint chips like an everywhere. But welcome. Welcome back, guys. We have all the trucks. Everybody's trucks are here. We're all here today. Here, let's open up the shop. Mm. There we go. Make sure the floor. Oh, look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Look at that bull bar. That's a good looking truck right there, boys. That is a farm truck. We have the 6R pulling in. Oh, oh. There we go. All right, so we're going to be spreading some lime. Go ahead. Hook up there. And then, yeah, we have probably too many people helping today. But, you know, more hands the better. So, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start wrapping our silage because we are officially done with the silage and then i'm supposed to an, a johnny representative i called him last night so i i decided we were going to plant winter wheat but the problem is these fields are fairly large for our plows and i didn't think i wanted to get it done so i called the john deere guy and i was like you know what this isn't gonna hurt i'll call him we have a pretty good relationship and i asked you know can i get a uh another demo on a tractor i'm loving john deere tractors i was kind of like lying to him i like the 6r but there's no i'm never gonna buy it i was kind of joking with him or i mean i wasn't lying. it was a white lie so i was kind of saying you know i'm loving john deere i'm thinking about getting one can i get uh can i get something bigger and i asked for an 8rt and he said sure so an 8rt is literally on its way we have a 10 meter plow hooked up to the back of it so huge implement behind it it's honestly almost too big for the 8RT he only had the 8RT but we're gonna be plowing with it I asked hey I just want to use it for plowing I'll give it right back maybe like give me two to three days so he's giving it to me this is gonna come in handy so much and then we have a bunch of helpers today so once that guy shows up which he's supposed to give me a call here I think it was in the next like 30 minutes so pretty excited there and yeah that's the move we have the uh I was just cleaning up this just about to tarp it this is all the silage we have so Half a million, 500,000 right there. And then I forget what this was. This was a little under a million. Oh, pretty cool stuff. Oh, we, oh, we need to compact it still. Uh-oh. 97% compacted. One of the guys is running on it. Yeah, let's just run on it. No, let's jump in the deer. Let's go ahead. All right, he beat me to it. Go ahead and start compacting that. And then we will, we'll tarp that here in a second. But that is the plan. You can see off in the distance, Zeus is out there tearing it up. But yeah, welcome back to the farm. Please hit the like button if you guys enjoy. Any more feedback? Because we're doing winter wheat because of you. I didn't even think of it. But we're going to capitalize on our opportunity. So there we go. We're 98% backed. He just needs to drop over it a few more times. All right, so there we go. My favorite part of the whole entire thing is we're going to tarp it. So it's just a simple press of the keyboard. But there we are. We blanketed the oh wait i'm stuck i'm stuck whenever you're standing on the on the silage here let me tab out sorry about that guys but whenever you stand on the silage and you tarp it you do get stuck i forgot about that there we are so we're gonna let it ferment it's gonna it's gonna take a while we're gonna let it ferment and we'll just yeah we'll have a tarp for a long time there we go we're jumping on it anyway the john your guy called me and or he texted me and he said he's on his way so we i'm gonna go stand outside i'm so excited i'm just gonna stand out here let's wait for him to come oh my goodness this is gonna be crazy I, how are we even i wonder if he can even pull in so let's see he's got he can either pull in there or he'll go we'll probably have him probably have him go through the ditch because once he gets in here plus dude that plow is so big 10 meters i'm actually a little nervous so i'm gonna send him a text say i'm waiting and uh i'll be standing outside so We'll wait for him. There he is. There he is. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Let me talk to him real quick. There's no cars coming. All right. What are you thinking? I have I have this approach. It's probably the uh, this one or right in front of the machine shed here. 
is the only way. Um, what I'm gonna do here is um, pretty much I might pull in on the driveway there, see if I can actually make it in there. I have an idea. I, sorry, sorry to interrupt. And thanks so much for bringing mm -hmm. this down. This is uh, gonna help us welcome. a lot. Actually, this came from the Ravenport John Deere Great Plains location. Okay. Oh, I'm, a different location? I'm the general manager, master former there. I'm one of... Um, well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Master Farmer. For sure, for sure. I uh, this is gonna help us out a lot. I only need it for like yeah. two or three days, so. All right. Uh, if you if if you need anything else, just give us a call at Riverport John Deere, and we'll definitely um, do anything for you. Okay. All right. So the plan is come walk around here. Let's see if we can get you. I know you kind of came in the wrong direction. It would have been nice. I didn't know which way you were coming. If we can get you to drive up over here and then into the field this way. You see my man right here. He's working on this field. Yeah. We need yeah, to uh, we yeah, need to help him out. We're trying to get a winter crop in. That's yeah, the plan. I understand that. Right, let's see what we can do and see if we can get in there and then. All right. So we go from there. All I'll right. let you. Uh, I'll let you do your do your stuff. Uh, right, try so not good. to get in your way. I'll I'll flag you down if you're gonna run over a telephone pole or smash to a building. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. There we go. That's pretty good of him. Holy cow. He literally just jumped and swung around. And he's pulling in, boys. The John Deere service. Look at that. Nothing runs like a deer. But, you know, when whoever... Okay, I don't know. I was trying to come up with a slogan for John Deere service. Is he, what? Is he going to plow it for us? There we go. He's unfolding that. Look at this plow, boys. One, two. Like, oh, my. There's so many... So many uh, boars on that. Holy cow. All right, thank you, uh, thank you so much, Master. Do you have a ride home? Um, actually, um, here have, I got a I got a guy here. He can he can drive you home. Actually, um, also I was also actually getting off of, of work work actually early. You need help? Oh, really? You're already off of work? Okay. Yeah. Um, do I need help? We have so many people just standing around. Uh. Uh. For now, have go get lunch. Yeah. I got lunch inside for you. My right, wife cooked up some uh, chicken pot pie. All right, so we the farm is literally in full swing. So I'm gonna try and drive as straight as possible. Already off, not not off to a good start. So look at how much uh, how much bigger our pass is than the. So that's a case. Oh, I forget the model of the plow. So that's a case plow, and then of course the, the international behind us um, that Zeus is running. But just look at how much wider we're doing. This is 10 meters wide. The biggest ball you can get. So super nice of... That was actually like the general manager too. So he came down here and uh, in person gave it to us, which is pretty nice. But then we have one of our helpers is is mowing our ditches. We, we don't have to... We just need to get this plowed right now. And then we'll start planting it. But we're, we're really going to start knocking it out here as both of us are just destroying it. So... That is the move now, guys. I will check back in with you when we're finishing up this field. And, yeah, lots going on up on the farm. And I'll see you guys in a bit. so we we've gotten a lot a lot done if you can see off in the distance a field is totally plowed halfway limed and then we're gonna start planting it really quickly but i forgot we actually don't have, we don't have a cedar we have a planter and if i want to if i want to you know if i want to plant some wheat you need a cedar so uh the johnny planter we have doesn't run wheat 
in any other <laughs> food type so we we need to switch that around and then all these actually all these equipment right here a little uh, heads up for you guys watching this late in the episode is we're gonna, we're gonna have a public farm where people come can come on and join so this is just some leftover equipment that uh, wasn't delivered to the public farm so that's gonna be exciting and here is here's our cedar it's not what i wanted i want to get like a modded cedar so it's a little more i don't know cool i guess it's not cool to not have a modded cedar or just modded equipment i always like to have modded equipment but for now we're gonna kind of go with it and this thing's it's fairly small it looks kind of big but it is actually fairly small and then we'll we won't need to cultivate it will do the cultivating for us and it'll drill right into the ground so that's super nice and yeah that's the move all right so we are heading in there we go and then what we need to do of course fill it up with wheat and which is already selected on wheat and then yeah we're gonna have some winter wheat going where the lime spreader is knocking it out quicker than i thought which is good because i want to get in the field here very quickly now that we turned it over we literally plowed it and we like put down oh wait did i miss i missed my turn we put down lime which is going to in increase the uh the nutrients in in the ground so super good stuff going on and i feel like even though you know we're throwing two crops in technically in one season it's still there's a lot of benefits to like winter wheat and stuff and and like doing that but you just don't want to i don't know that much about farming but i know that throwing down lime and plowing it are two really good things for like nutrients and everything so what am i trying to do now we need to all right we need to fill up the seed and then we we have a mower or yeah we have a mower and and we got one of the guys the most so the farm is pretty much all cleaned up it's all mowed which is uh nice to see very refreshing as we we're working so then it looks like we have some guys cleaning up so we have a lot of people on here right now probably a little too many for today's jobs but you know it doesn't hurt there we go that's the cedar it's not huge like i said it looks almost bigger folded up than it does on un un like unfolded so here we go we're gonna go ahead and plant some wheat winter wheat is going into the ground boys that is uh it's gonna it's gonna take a while pretty small cedar but we have plenty of time because the plows they will obviously have to get the next field so hopefully we'll be able to time it up and by the time they're done plowing and lime on the ground we are ready to move over to that field so that's the move guys and let's keep her going all right guys so we switched over real quick i got kind of bored we switched over and now we're in the 8rt because i wanted I'm, technically i'm the one or technically i'm really the only person that's supposed to be in this like none of my workers because it's specifically meant for me to demo it like the owner of the farm uh but you know technically like i'll get their input so you don't really it doesn't i'm not gonna follow that rule but we're in it now i did get yeah i kind of got a little bored playing it so we're switching it up that one's kind of boring i mean everything you kind of get tired of it's really fun to switch it up so okay, what, what just happened there all right we're good we're good it's a nice tractor super nice tractor way too expensive for us uh, but i was just borrowing it now we just needed it because we're in time crunch uh but now we're just pretty much going in circles we have the case running over there and we're knocking this out and then we have one of the our helpers doing lime on the north part of the field so we'll have that limed before we're even walking out of here which is the plan so all right guys so we are we're knocking it out we what do you say we i mean i'll probably make one to two well i'll probably make two to three more passes uh and then we'll be we'll be locked and loaded but super cool we th this plow is huge and john deere came came to the rescue so that was super nice really good job on them i i mean the more and more I'm, I'm in them i do love the tractor but they're just way too expensive we don't need these new tractors um and then that 6r what it's going back in like four days so we're gonna be done with that 6r i'm gonna try and right now we're running it it's spreading line trying to get my use out of it trying to <laughs> use pretty much just run run through it as much as we can but right now pretty much every tractor is working look at that look at that view we have the case the 8rt the 6r and then the deer in the back just running with the planter or with the cedar technically so that's going good it looks like we're doing a pretty good job seeding probably about halfway so cedar isn't huge but as long as you just keep going it'll be good there we are and then i think we got dinner here soon so once we get done with this we gotta eat some dinner 
not until we get done, but we'll probably uh, we'll probably be planting into the night or early tomorrow morning. I'm just a little worried about the rain. Uh, but I do want to get it done tonight, so we don't have to get back out in the field just in case it rains, you know, an inch or two, which it's it might. Uh, we can't have the tractors out in the field when it's that soft, so we'll see how the weather plays on this one. And I'll see you guys in a bit once we knock this baby out. All right, there it is. Oh, wait, I just got a little more. All right, drive forward a bit. So there she is. We have a few little pieces that we missed, but, you know, can't, you can't win them all. So let's go ahead. Let's get out of here. Try and not mess up the field too much as we exit. And then I need to figure out where, like, how do I get out of here? That's the question. Let me go ahead. I'm going to put the plow over here. This is kind of where we put our implements that we're using. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and detach it real quick. One thing I'm going to need to do, he said I need to clean off the tractor and the plow when I'm done with it. So we're going to have to do that, just not tonight. We're going to have these guys keep running here. We'll pull them in about 20 minutes. i got to clean up a few things, uh, do a few things, put them lower away, a few other pieces of equipment. But that's going to wrap up today's episode. A lot of work was done, and we got a lot done. So a lot more to come. Please, in the comments, let us know you have any feedback of sorts or what you guys want to see next here on the farm i'm so excited to get some cattle in here but it's just we need obviously silage has to ferment and we have to have uh, everything ready for them to go so we'll be waiting on that but in a few episodes here i plan on getting some cows that will be fun i'll see you guys next time